Hey everybody, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. Thanks for coming back to the channel today for this 4K review. Now, as the title says, we are going to be checking out the latest 4K release from Disney, and that is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. This is the first movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean series, which went on and spawned the rest of the franchise. So it's a very important movie. I still think it's the best movie of the series. And it's one that growing up and being, you know, 11, 12 years old-ish when this movie came out is very near and dear to my heart and very nostalgic for me. And it's certainly one of my favorite movies growing up. So I was really, really excited to check this out on 4K. So in this 4K review, I'm gonna dive through the visual quality, the audio quality, talk a little bit about the packaging and the special features, and then ultimately let you guys know whether or not this one is worth picking up and upgrading to add to your movie collection. Before we get started, I do wanna say a thank you to HD Movie Source. They hooked me up with this copy of Pirates of the Caribbean on 4K so I could review it for all of you. So their link to their website is down in the description. Definitely go check them out because they're huge supporters of the channel and hopefully you guys will support them as well. Now, let's jump right into this review. So as I said, I had really, really high hopes for Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl on 4K for a couple of reasons. First, it's one of Disney's largest original franchises. Outside of Marvel, you know, Star Wars, that sort of thing, this may be their most well-known movie series. It ties back into the Disney parks. It's a really big flagship title for their movie studio. And secondly, it was shot on film. And so I always like to see movies that are shot on film, get new 4K transfers, come to 4K, and see how much that 4K resolution can really help these 35 millimeter films, especially those that were shot a little bit in the more modern era, which Pirates of the Caribbean was. So I was very excited to check this out in 4K and hopefully have a brand new experience and watch this for the first time in probably 10 years or so and just really enjoy it. Now, unfortunately, I could not do that because this right here is quite possibly the worst 4K disc that has ever been released. This is toe-to-toe -to -toe with Terminator 2. It is that bad. Now, if you look at some of the screenshots, remember, these are representative screenshots, and honestly, it's going to look worse on your screen when you see it. The Blu-ray was actually a really nice release. It had a ton of great detail. The film grain was intact. It had a lot of nice depth to the image. It was a pretty dynamic looking Blu-ray disc, and actually one of the better ones that came out in those early days of Blu-ray. And unfortunately, what they've done here on the 4K is they've totally flattened that image. They have applied some sort of digital noise reduction. They've done edge enhancement. They've kind of just taken the computers and gone nuts on this thing to totally flatten it out, erase all of the grain. It makes for a very flat 2D looking image. The colors are not that great. HDR really adds nothing. It doesn't add any more depth. It doesn't really make any of the colors pop any better. The only thing it really does is add a little bit of a darker filter to basically the whole movie, which also makes it very clear that this was a lazy release. This was not well done. This was not taken care of by Disney. Overall, it's just a disaster. It is a total disaster. And it has all those same issues that Terminator 2 had with all of the digital noise reduction and the scrubbing of the grain and just looking so flat. And 4K should do the exact opposite. 4K should give you so much more depth, such a more dynamic image with HDR. It should look almost like it's popping off your screen. That added depth is what I love so much about 4K and HDR. And when Disney goes and does something like this, it's honestly really shameful because they clearly put no effort in. They didn't pay any attention to the original film transfer. What they did was they most likely just took the Blu-ray transfer and said, oh, well, let's clean it up and make it look 4K, which is horrible. It's a horrible way to go about this. You have the source, you have all the resources, you have all the money in the world. Go back, scan that film, get a 4K transfer, and put out a proper disc. But Disney's too lazy. They don't care about physical media very clearly and they're basically killing off even their best franchises on the 4K format. It's a really lackluster effort, um, and honestly, I can't recommend that 
anybody buy this based on the visuals alone. Your Blu-ray disc will be better. It's a better viewing experience. It's much more faithful. It looks a lot better. Depth is better. Color is better. Contrast is better. Everything is better on the Blu-ray than on this 4K disc. This disc is a total joke. And so it's starting to make sense why Disney doesn't want to send out 4K physical review copies because they don't want word getting out there early that their 4K discs suck. And that is the case. If you ask Disney, they are not sending any physical review copies anymore. They'll send you a digital copy, which of course is not a true comparison uh, of anything to Blu-ray. A 4K digital copy is nowhere near what 4K discs should look like. But it's very clear that's why they're doing it because it's sort of like the big video game studios have been doing for the last five or six years uh, or even longer. They've stopped caring about the consumers. They've stopped caring about the fans. They put out half-baked content, hope everybody pre-orders it and buys it on day one, and then they don't do anything about it, and then they pump out the next game a year later, and people repeat the process. The only way to stop a process like that is to stop buying their product, and in this case, I will not be buying any more Disney 4K discs unless I know that there is a proper transfer. So Heat, if that comes to 4K, I know that's been done by Fox, who actually had a good physical media department before it got bought by Disney, and I'll purchase that one for sure. But I'm not gonna buy Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm not gonna buy any of the sequels after this mess. They need to prove that they can actually put out a decent disc and spend some time on it. This is a total cash grab. It looks awful and nobody should buy it. If you're looking for any redeeming qualities of this release, please don't look towards Dolby Atmos because this is the same old Disney Dolby Atmos track. And I'm gonna put that in quotes, Disney Dolby Atmos, because it's different than other studios, Dolby Atmos. I don't know that they're truly doing anything with the surround track other than adding a few channels because it doesn't add any more to the audio experience. It's always very weak. If anything, sometimes it sounds worse than a 5.1 track and I'd prefer that original Blu-ray audio over this because at least it is in the right soundscape and it's well balanced. The Disney Atmos tracks aren't balanced well. They kind of just throw effects around, sort of just because they're using Atmos as a novelty almost. Bass is really weak. I mean, it's just not a dynamic audio track that you'd expect from a Dolby Atmos release. But we've come to realize that over the years from Disney, almost every time they do Atmos, and it's a real Disney title and not something that Fox did, like Speed, Roger Rabbit, those are good. But when it's a true Disney Atmos title, they're just weak. They just don't care about physical media. They want you to watch this in 4K on Disney Plus, sign up for their service, and pay them money to be a streaming subscriber. They do not care if you buy it on disc, and that's why their discs are so weak. So the audio is no better than the visuals, although I, I guess it's slightly better, but it's the typical Disney Dolby Atmos crap that you've come to expect from them. So unfortunately, there's no redeeming quality there either. Overall, your Blu-ray is just going to be a better, more balanced, more engaging and better looking experience than anything this 4K disc can offer you. So now packaging, pretty typical. You get your poster on the slip cover. Interestingly enough, they didn't use the collector's edition uh, packaging for this one. Then on the inside, it does come with a digital copy for Movies Anywhere. And then it comes repackaged with what I'm almost positive is the original Blu-ray disc. So at least you get that if you bought this for the first time. Watch this disc and then the 4K disc just on a black case. So the thing they're missing here is special features. Uh, previous releases actually had two discs, which is why that Blu-ray disc said disc one, because the second disc had special features. Disney used to be a fairly good physical media company. They would put out limited editions of all their animated classics. They took good care of them. They would do unique slip covers. They did Target exclusive digit books. They would do lots of special features. I mean, they really used to care. And for some reason, when 4K came around, they just said, we don't care anymore. It ties into the launch of Disney Plus and their focus completely on streaming. Um, and it's just really, really sad that essentially we have lost the biggest media company in the world, especially now that they own Fox and probably the biggest movie studio with the most properties. We've lost them for physical media. This is the death of Disney for physical media right here. They have jumped the shark, if you know what that phrase means. They've gone past the point of no return. They've had bad discs in the past, 
but nothing as lazy and as bad as Pirates of the Caribbean. I just can't support them on physical media anymore because they're just lazy and I don't know what happened to what was once a great company for physical media who made billions and billions of dollars on VHS tapes and DVDs and Blu-rays and now gives us this literal steaming pile of turd on 4K. And sometimes when I watch a 4K disc, you know, I'm certainly in the minority or um, sometimes alone in my opinions that something is bad or something is good. Um, but this has taken the internet by storm. A lot of people are taking notice. So don't take my word for it. Go out and read other reviews, watch other channels. Um, it's bad. It's really bad. And if you don't believe me, I do want to read off a quick message here that HD Movie Source sent me. Now, they're an online movie retailer, and they had some pretty strong words for Disney and their thoughts on this release. So I'm going to read that to you guys really quickly right here. It saddens me to say this. I own an online store that sells movies and get into this because I love quality and love holding physical media in my hands. But please don't buy Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl on 4K UHD. In terms of quality, I believe it's along the same lines as Terminator 2, which is terrible. The only way to make a company understand is by voting with your wallet. If we keep buying crap like this, then Disney will never understand. Because we bought it, we essentially say to the company, great job. They only see the money. Disney is right now the worst company on the 4K platform, and it breaks my heart to say that. It's a sad day for Disney. What has happened to this once great company? I have a vested interest to sell you movies, but I cannot recommend that anyone buy Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl on 4K UHD. There's no love, it's all for money, and it sickens me that Disney has gotten this low. I think it's shameful. So this is clearly an issue that is, is, is widespread at Disney. They don't care about physical media. Um, even the fact that like, this was put out on a Sunday. Physical media comes out on Tuesdays, right? They released this on January 2nd. It was a Sunday. Is that a minor thing? Yeah, but it clearly shows that they literally just don't care. So that is the review. Unfortunately, this movie is really bad on 4K. And even more unfortunately, this movie is really good and more people should see it and a new generation hopefully will continue to watch it but just buy the Blu-ray. It's as simple as that. You want to watch it? Buy the Blu-ray disc. You'll have a good time. Don't waste your money on this 4K disc. It's a total cash grab from Disney. They don't care. They'll never respond to this video or any other complaints out there because they don't care. But don't waste your money on it, please. At this point, I'm not even going to put a link to Amazon if you want to buy this. You know what I am going to put a link to? I'm going to put a link to the Blu-ray release because that's what you should buy and not the 4K. So again, thank you to HD Movie Source for sending this and thank you for their thoughts and that quick little message they sent me that I wanted to share with you all. But just a super disappointing release and I think we have a, a very early candidate for probably the worst overall release of 2022, uh, the worst 4K visuals of 2022, and a real serious contender for the worst 4K disc of all time. So thanks for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. We're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you hit subscribe and help me get closer to that goal. That'd be a huge milestone for both my channel, but for physical media as well. So I really appreciate it. Also, make sure to follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm spreading the word about physical over there and talking blu-rays and movies all the time on those channels as well and that's a great place to get in touch with me and then make sure you check out all the other links in my description where you can help support partners of mine and help support the channel passively through signing up for different things or buying some movies things like that that help support me i really really appreciate it and it goes a long way so thanks for watching have a great rest of your day stay safe and stay healthy out there and i'll talk to you all soon